Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up everybody, HTG Doug here, and today we're checking out the rest of the Dying Light text collectibles. This time we're doing all of Old Town. There are a total of 28 between notes, battle journals, and recordings, so let's get going. Alright, so the first one's just north of the main uh, tower that you start in when you come over here. And uh, we're on top of this safe house here, so we're going to jump down and right down into the bottom. You'll see it's right there as you come down the ladder. So that's the one, number one. All right, number two. This uh, this one was kind of hard to do like a clean path on, so there's a little bit of zigzagging back and forth. So uh, I apologize for that. But there's nothing really I can do. Uh, slums are much easier to create a nice route for. This one was a lot harder because it's a smaller area. So, all right, we're gonna head near here to this bar. Right behind the counter is the first voice recording that we get of this game. So, all right, continuing along. And, uh, alright, so we're down here on the main floor, and we're going to head on into this little espresso cafe after we finally jump over those little bars. And uh, just behind the register, or next to the register, uh, next, behind the counter, is the next recording. Alright, number four. Alright, there we go. So, there's going to be this little red building here. We're going to jump into the top floor, not the middle floor. And uh, we'll grapple up there. I recommend you have the grapple hook for before starting most of these, as it makes it a lot easier to get collectibles when you have the grappling hook. But it's it's still very doable if you don't. But all right, so we'll grab that battle journal and move on to the next one. All right, so right along the river, you're gonna see this red building here, and you're gonna want to head in and open this door, or you can climb through the window actually. And uh, I it's really weird if you're not facing like directly straight and you hit R1. Uh, the jump button, it like shoots you to whatever direction you're aiming. So uh, that's what just happened there. But we're going to head behind the bed there and grab that recording. All right. So just a little further down, we got this little square, four square thing. And inside this workshop here, you're going to have to, you might have to open the door. Some of them you had to open, some of them you didn't. And uh, on the table in the back is the battle journal. All right. So just south of the same little square there. Uh, in the bottom middle, there's going to be another luck medicine shop. You'll see a lot of these. Like, almost all, half of the recordings in this area are all in the luck medicine shop. So, And uh, I totally missed it. I went right past it. It's actually uh, behind the counter to the left there. You'll see it. Sorry about that. Whoops. And uh, right there on the little dress cabinet? Dresser? I don't know what to call it. I'm really bad with furniture names for the record. So uh, right there on the, that is the voice recording. And uh, next one is just south of here. And you'll see this building. And you want to head on to the top, not the very top, not the roof, the just top floor. And you'll head on here and then just head on around. And then on the dresser, nightstand, nightstand, as you enter the bedroom is the next recording. All right, so southeast or northeast of that, actually, or southeast, southeast. I think it's southeast. Anyway, this is one of the ones you have to enter a building to get in. And this is actually uh, a side quest that has to do with the, I believe it's the, I think it's the Chasing Past side quest. I believe that's what the, the name of the quest was. Um, I'm blanking on the actual name, but you're going to head on to the third floor. And inside the door right there is the next note. And just for the record, if you're looking for a specific note or battle journal or reverse recording, uh, based on the in your inventory, in your collectible section, if you're looking for a specific one, I will have quick links down in the bottom of the description that you can click on and find which one you're specifically looking for. But uh, on top of this building here, there's actually three, or just two, that are right next to each other. And then the next one is just down here uh, on the next roof. So three quick ones in about 20 seconds. That's always a good thing for me. So very happy about that. But yeah, quick links down in the description below if you're missing a specific one. I can't say that word. Uh, you can easily click on that and you can skip to the one you're looking for. All right, so we're going to enter this building using our trusty grapple hook. And then we're going to walk around and uh, we'll watch Fire Snake looking at this. And uh, thank you, big shout out to Fire Snake for helping me get these. Uh, he was my like co op partner playing through this for most of it. And uh, he also found a lot of collectibles for me. So uh, thank you to him. Be sure to send him an invite because he loves, he loves invites. Everyone should send him one. It just makes him feel so loved. So, uh, all right, so we're going to enter this workshop here, and right on the counter next to the register is going to be the next recording. So on to number 15 of this area. All right, so on the far left side of the area, this one is a little annoying to find, but uh, it's just in the luck medicine shop down at the bottom. 
the slums were easy because it was only it was like one floor everything was like one floor or it was like one building with one floor you can easily go up or down this one old town is very level based where you can't really enter the bottom floor and get to the top floor or vice versa so it was a lot of it was harder to find them but this one is probably the most off the beaten trail one that is in this entire game uh it's just way out there in this little tunnel you're like not even on the map anymore and it's just right there on the right behind the little barrel on the floor all right back in the city just a little east we're going to have to enter this building, I believe. Uh, yep, the, another luck medicine shop, I told you. A lot of luck medicine shops. Apparently they weren't very lucky because everyone's either a zombie or dead. But uh, anyway, so we're going to grab that recording just behind the counter as well. Alright, just a little further east. These are like, like, All three of these were like in the same kind of straight line, so that was very nice. But on top of this safe house here, we're going to jump down. And then we're going to head straight to the back. And on the little counter is the next recording. All right, so again, further east. This one was actually kind of hard to find. You have to go through, uh, you have to be dropped down, or in, in, blah, blah, blah. you have to drop down like into the courtyard. And then what you're gonna do is climb your way back up. And uh, I just chose the spot that was broken. And then you wanna head around to the left here, um, enter the right. And you wanna go the opposite way. There we go. And uh, head around to the room in the back and just on the nightstand next to the bed is the next recording. All right, so moving on to number 20. Only eight more to go, and we got the trophy or achievement for you Xbox people. All right, top right corner, top middle, middle right, middle of the map. Uh, you're going to see this light white door that you need to pick to open. And uh, it should be pretty easy, considering I already like found the spot. But of course, I had this... D God, the runners in this area are just so annoying. So uh, I had to kill him first, and then we will open the door, and we'll head on in. All right, and then it's actually just behind the door. We'll get rid of him real quick, or her, and then we'll grab that note. All right, number 21. Just south of there. Uh, all right, there we go. I was like, what is going on? Did I just freeze on that? No. Nope. Okay. All right, so right next to the road, there's going to be this little, like, uh, I guess, food convenience shop kind of thing and uh right there next to the drink machine is the recording on the counter all right so a little bit east of where we just were and this is right next to a shop as you can see and uh we're gonna head on over into this building here and i managed to get the grappling hook perfectly through the wall which i never ever do so i was really surprised I was like what's going on i don't know where i am and uh right there on the dresser is the next recording so this one was very recording here i think there were like 16 recordings uh eight notes and four journals if I was if I'm correct on that all right so this one is in the middle of this little courtyard here and you, what you're gonna do is you have to exit like, head through the archway and then all the way up top right is the a little window that you can grapple hook into you can also climb up if you want but grapple hook is way more fun and then you want to head straight down this path and hang a left and then hang a right and then kind of loop around and on, on the table is going to be the recording that was also very hard to find all right, so on to number 24. Down here on the far right, you're going to see this little white building with this blue on it or fence around it, and you're going to head on in there. And uh, just right inside the door to the right is the recording. All right, it's on number 25. Just a little further south on the right there. All right, so this one you have to actually enter a building to get to, and you're going to have to, it's the information center. And for some reason, it wouldn't let me climb over that. I was kind of upset. So we're just going to grapple over that. And then we're going to enter the elevator. And this is actually for a mission called, I believe it's called a fan zone. Uh, you have to investigate the, the message or the that's going over the loudspeaker. And you're going to come in here and you're going to have to, on the left here, enter this little conference room. And there's going to be a staff card or a key card on this desk right where I'm hitting. You're going to have to grab that. And then on the right here as we kick through a door, it's the funnest thing to do in this game. Uh, you want to use the key card to open this door here right where I'm hitting again just to make sure. And open that door, and then just behind this red chair on the left is the next note. All right. So this next one is also another one that you're going to have to enter a building to get. And this is for another mission as well. It's, um, it has to do with... I forgot that. I should have looked up the names of these before I did them. But uh, it has to do with the guy who is the... the like. I forget what the name of the guy would be, but there is a card on this uh, staff card on this table right here where I'm hitting that opens this door, 
And then once you open that door, on the floor here, after you kill this guard who always appears, uh, there will be a bunch of key cards on the floor and then on in there. And you want to grab the one for 101. The, the, there's two notes. One's in 101, one's in room 106. One of those needs a, a key card. So, But you can just grab all of them because you need to go through here for the side quest. Uh, there's a ton of stuff you can find that's always good to have. So, uh, And I believe 106 was the one that needed the card. No, it was one. It's 101. Sorry, 101 is the card you need. 106 was already open for you. But all right, just inside the room on the back right corner is the note. But uh, this is for the quest where you have to find the magical nine. He gives you like a riddle. Um, and I forget the name of the quest, and it's totally blanking on me. God, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. I totally blanked on the name. It has to do with the. Um, Oh, it has to do with oh, invest. You have to investigate the music. That's what it was. There's a bunch. There's a music going off, and it's loud noise, and you have to go investigate it. That's what it is. I forgot the name of it, but that's what that's what happens. And you meet the guy who um, asks you to go do the uh, to to find some stuff for him. He gives you like a little riddle. But uh, right there on the counter or the little dresser nightstand cabinet thing is the last one, and uh, that is the last recording of the game. So we got the trophy, or oh, well, I got a trophy. You guys probably got an achievement or, or a trophy. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys found these very useful. And uh, I might put out a few more other videos of just some random stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, make sure you check us out on all our social media pages. And uh, like and comment if you have any questions. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.